We're going to the BMW garage. Do I have an M5 over there? Oh, this sounds so good. This is what M5, bro. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Let's Go to Work episode. You guys already know what time it is, man. But today we're gonna try to get our pilot job back. And uh, we're gonna keep going with the garages, and uh, yeah, let's see how everything is gonna turn out, man. It's a nice Saturday so far, and uh, we gotta bring this Lambo, actually, the yellow Lambo, to the garage. I'm not sure which spot. I think we probably left it. There may be like one spot or something like that. So let's go. Let's go check it out. I gotta drop that thing off. That thing is loud though, and uh, I might have to um sell a car, but we'll see. And also, I might have to go to the bank and get some properties. So I'm gonna try to like put everything in right now <laughs> and see how everything's gonna turn out. But let's go. I'll, oh, I was about to say. Wait, how did it sound like that? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta restart this thing. Okay, that's what I thought. I look so tall in this, bro. <laughs> let's go. All right. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, she sounds so good, bro. We save it. That was some good breaks. That was definitely some good breaks. I actually gotta wait for this light, but um, yeah, where we going right now? To this garage. Remember where we put most of the cars? We'll be over there, and uh, we'll do our thing, man. Let's drop this off and let's pick up some more cars. I don't even know what to drive. Come on, man. This light can't be this long. So I'm waiting for the lights in GTA, man. Oh shoot, that Tesla stepped on it. I caught that. I caught that. Ooh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> that was a nice trip. Just passing through. Oh, and also, we got to pick up a suit because I don't even know if I got my job back. I don't even know if I do. We can't lose our pilot license, bro. Oh, shooting GTA, bro. Fucking Mustang. Still my fault, but Mustang. All right, I gotta check. Do we have a spot, though? Oh, we're gonna have to get rid of a car. Which side is the Lambo garage? I don't. Uh, let me see. I know this is the Porsche garage, so this got to be the Lambo garage. Uh, nope. This is full. They are all full. All right. Um, let's figure out what we got to do. Did I bring this already? Maybe we have this in the lot. Cause I remember I was supposed to replace one of the cars. All right, so let's go upstairs and see this. I gotta go pick up my suit. I don't even know where it is. All right, so I'm guessing uh, which one is between these two, bro. I always make that mistake. I know the first one is the Porsche garage, but the Rolls Royce garage and the um, what you call it, the Lamborghini garage, is always got me mixed up. Definitely the Rolls Royce garage. Disregard. But the middle one. So which Lambo should we get rid of? We got we just got the new Urus in there, so the Perf Urus. So no, that's not that's not going anywhere. We do have to buy some properties. All right. Yeah, we said we was gonna remove some. Oh yeah. Uh, that's a tough one, bro. That's a tough one. I mean, I can't even get rid of my SV. 
Might as well run me too too much championship on this. Um, we got the two old school, bro. I grew up wanting this car, and so um, yeah, I grew up with a picture of this car, bro. Like this is my baby right here. I don't know, guys. You guys, let me know. Okay, so we got two of these. You gotta, I mean, you gotta have the regular version and the modified version, though. Come on. I mean, we don't even have a regular version because I, I got rid of the Evo. So this is the perf with the with multi exhaust. And this is like a special car. This was a gift, man. I don't know. I think the Lamborghini garage is complete, but uh, in the meantime, I guess let's store this car in our other garage. Yeah, in the meantime, we'll put it over there. That's my baby, though, man. I know, I know. Some of you guys be going for this car. Oh, the doors doesn't go up, but still, it's a Gallardo. Like, I don't know, man. This car is still special, at least to me. <laughs> oh, we say we was gonna purchase this place. That is, if I could get enough cash by today. Put it right over here. Yo, this is the the hottest break. My goodness. All right, we're supposed to go upstairs and change to. I'm trying to get my job back, bro. All right, so we'll leave this here. Remember the Lexus. Uh, you know, she'll park it. All right, just park. Ah, uh, she won't park it. Okay, I was about to say if she don't say it, bro, she won't park the car. She won't park the car if she don't say it. All right, so let's go upstairs real quick. Let's change our clothes, and uh, we heading straight to the airport. Cause I want to make sure I have my job back. All right, let's just say so. I'm gonna use a uh, simple native trainer, as we usually do. And uh, oh, suit. I don't remember. Close, load. Don't remember which one is it. Uh, I'm guessing right now. 84? Nope. <laughs> 86. Oh, there you go. We got our suit. Come on, man. I'm going to this job and I want I want to make sure that I look fresh. All right. And we kind of hungry, too. I ain't, I ain't taking no flight on an empty stomach, bro. Welcome home. I've been home. I mean, I just changed. And you guys probably miss this place too, man. You good? Uh, yeah, I'm hungry. What you got? Yeah, I might eat one of those. Those always save my life, man. Uh, and the E. Cola. That's oh, it give you a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to fly on a full full stomach now. I don't want to. I don't like using the restroom and on the airplane, bro. I do not like like if I don't have to go use the restroom at all on the plane, I just avoid it. All right, so let's go back downstairs. Let's go. Um, I believe I still got my job though. Uh, if you had a choice to drive, uh, I don't know why that Lexus got me. That Lexus got me right now. I'm a drive. I'm a. I'll, I just love that sound, bro. I know we got a chance to drive this last time too. Let's go. Now, just like I say, do we have enough money to make that purchase right now? Okay, we got 1.3 on us. Before I get to the airport, um, let me rush over there to the arc. Is that the Arcadius? Yeah. So it's up for sale. It's up for grab. And uh, they didn't give me a number yet. So right now we're about to try and see if we can actually get a number and uh, we can actually go from there. I don't know how much they sell on it for, but we'll see. They should they should be able to give me like a good number. Though. My goodness, that car is always loud. Oh, that's an that's that NSX, bro. Oh, my bad, my bad, dude, my bad. Oh shoot. All right, how much you guys think they apply for? Oh, just to apply for it? Yeah, I ain't applying. 
I'm buying this place. What you mean applying? Ah, oh, shoot. They okay. Did he ain't come? Oh no! I already own this. Wait, how come it's not showing on the map? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm not selling this, bro. I didn't even know I own it, cause, bro, it's not showing up on the map. When you own these properties, oh, nothing is showing up. Okay, all right. Hey man, 70k a day. That's not bad at all. Bringing 70k a day, bro. They're gonna stop me somewhere. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so we're going straight to the airport. Oh, shoot. All right, talk about story time, man. I remember that one time. So I usually, um, this is back. I usually take to the range with me or whatever. So, shoot, I thought that cop was after me. Yeah, so this is bag. You guys already know to the to the shooting range and stuff like that. Oh shoot, he already saw it, bro. All right, I'm taking off. Cash me if you can. All right, so yeah, as I was saying, talking about the airport. This is bag that I usually take to the ranger with me. I don't know for some reason there was like one one bullet left in that bag, and then I decided to take that bag to travel, bro. Who does that? <laughs> but it, it's just a simple bag to the point where I'm like, all right, this is a good bag for me to take. Um, usually, like if I have, I, if I put, you know, everything under the plane, I have that one bag where I can actually put my headphones. Right, I gotta go inside the airport, bro. I think I'm gonna park inside the airport. That's the only way this cop won't get me. But um, yeah. I'm talking about like we just uh, so we had to fly to the island and stuff like that, and we we just pull up to the airport. So you know you always gotta stop in Florida somewhere before you get to the island. And uh, bro, this cop is not giving up. This cop is not giving up, bro. I guess we get a chance to test this car. What if he gets stuck in here? Oh my! Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You guys can see that. All right, did he finally give up? Okay, he gave up. That plane just landed. Yeah, so um, I'm passing TSA, bro. They pulled me to the side. I was like, nah, there's no way, bro. There's no way. It was like we gotta have a little chit chat. I'm like, no way. Wait, wait, what happened? It was like, yo, we found a bullet in your bag. <laughs> Do you have more? That was the question. And I'm like, no, no way. No all right, so let's park outside. We can actually park out there. Yeah, and uh, the guy pulled me to the side. He was like, "Yo, if we fire any more than five of those, we would have to take you in." I'm like, "No way!" But I'm talking about like scary moment, bro. That was definitely scary, and that was one of my incident, one of my little story time from the airport. I didn't even expect that, and I did made it. I made it to the plane too, so which was pretty cool, man. Because they could have stopped me do a bunch of investigation and stuff like that, but they didn't kind of let me slide. It was like, bro, you're in Georgia. You already know how we do. All right, so we get a chance to fly this plane over here. Let me see. Let me make sure my customers are okay. This happened to be one of my favorite plans, bro, and I still got my job. Bro, they, they kind of like private back there, bro. This is this is on point. This is on point. Look at look at the detail of this plane, though. Wow. All right, let's go. It's time to take off. Time to take off. Man. Do we have enough fuel? Yeah, we have enough fuel to land over there. All right, there you go. I don't know why I feel like it's a little foggy. Just a little bit. Talk about plane taking off, bro. Well, I, I, you know, I haven't seen that in a while, but bro. I actually saw so many nearly miss where planes almost almost crashed while landing, bro. While we were in Vegas, it was like a bunch. It was so windy. Like right now, you see, like how this weather is so calm. Man. It was so windy in Vegas. I think I told you guys that already. It was so windy in Vegas to the point where it was like each plane that attempted land, it was more like testing all these pilot skills. It's either you're gonna, uh, it's either you're gonna take off again or crash. 
I feel like that was the only option they had because each plane we saw trying to surround the land, they had to take off again. What kind of plane is this that just passed over there? I don't even know. But I haven't, I haven't fly these customers over there in a while, man. And uh, yeah, that's all. Let's go to work for today. When you flying, can you imagine? though? this is all you're seeing. This is all you're seeing, bro. Flying by map too. Ah, oh, the gauge and all that stuff doesn't work. So we're gonna land on the right and then taxi our way to the left and drop off our customers. And uh, I need to line this up. Oh, shoot. Oh. By the way, turning a plane that fast, I don't know if my customer would be that happy with me. And I'm way too early, bro. Oh, shoot. I mean, I'm way too late. I'm nose diving right now, bro. Cut off the engine for a minute. We got this. We got this. All right, in GTA, you have to land like this. So you know how the back wheel is supposed to touch first, but it got to hit different in GTA. You see, engine still cut off right now. We're gonna turn it back on. Let's go. Uh, just to break, we have to turn it back on. Turning that way. All right, we're gonna do a little three point turn. Bro, this plane kind of taking a lot to turn. This plane is taking a lot to turn. All right, but guys, we're gonna check out the rest of the garages. Um, I don't know. I gotta check out the GTR garage, the BMW garage. I think we definitely gonna have to update the BMW garage and also the Dodge garage. So more like we're gonna go on that side today and uh, drop off the Lexus. Oh shoot! I miss. I miss. I miss. I gotta back up a little bit. Oh no! It still let me drop off right here. Let's go. All right. At least we still got this job, bro. I thought that cop was waiting on us, bro. Oh shoot! Did he just drop from up there. He definitely did. All right, so I don't need a suit for the rest of the day, bro. I'm about to dress down, so let's bring the Lexus back and uh, go on about our day. And when it comes to let's go to work, you guys already know we could do this for hours. And if y'all looking forward to install something like this, definitely big shout out to Amani. LA Revo is probably one of your best bet, unless you want to do it like I did. Meaning, get each mods one by one, just like this car, right? I installed a car. I installed a handling line. I installed the vehicle file. I uh, make sure it's an add-on car, so it won't be spawning everywhere. Oh, I thought he was coming this way. Um, yeah, just and also, then I change the sound. Then you have to change the sound in the not the handling, but the vehicle dot meta file. Like it's a lot of back and forth. Now. If you all looking to just install just a full mod without having to do what I did, you can actually install LA Revo, which is one of my favorite, which we need to bring back to man. But right now, let's go drop off this. Oh, why this thing so strong? Oh no, I'm not going back that way. No, sir. Um, we're going right over here. I'm gonna change my clothes and then go back on with my day. We'll have plenty of choices of cars. Uh, to do stuff, so we should be all set. So I don't think we need to do anything with the um, hypercar garage because that was perfect. Uh, I know you. Oh shoot! I know you guys wanted some more Bugattis and stuff like that, but I feel like we have more than enough Bugatti in that garage. We have over three, bro. Now, if we need some more Bugattis, we do have some more Bugattis at the Malibu Mansion. Malibu Mansion, which is another one of my favorite. I remember we used to start over there all the time, man. Uh, that Lexus is gonna need gas soon, but uh, we're good for now. I'm just gonna park it, change, and do our thing, man. And yeah, just like I was saying, man, if you need uh, to do this yourself, just just like I say, it's it's pretty simple now. 
I remember before I, it was it used to be like my way only, but now that way I don't know. That way is only if you have time. But I feel like the other way is so much easier. And uh, after the other way, there's even an option that allow you to even install LSPFR. That is, if you want to, which make it so much easier. But remember, I don't know why I still get this question. But remember, this is for PC only. This is for PC only. I don't know how many times I have to say that. I think I've been saying that since 2015. PC only. No, you can't do this for your PS4, for your PS5, um, Xbox. No, none of that. All right, so let's go change our clothes real quick. Do we need to eat? Ah, uh, maybe I'll get some to snack on. Um, let's see. We'll just get some to snack on. Um, what can I wear? I have man, I have a bunch of clothes. Let me see, forty one. Okay, we can rock this. Not bad. Oh shoot, that's actually what I'm rocking today. Um, I have a black sweater. Oh, actually, with black jeans though, and my red shoes. It's like a red leather shoe. It's one of those. Uh, what what do they call again? I forgot the name of them. But it's like red and black. Whenever it's raining, it's this is a good shoe to rock because I mean, it don't mess it up or anything like that. All right, so um, we got to go to this other garage. I don't care what to take. Let's take the M5. We're going to the BMW garage. Do I have an M5 over there? Oh, you sound so good. This is one M5, bro. They always make it sound good. Oh man. It's crazy. I kind of wish you could make the new M5. I'm, nah, I don't think it would be good. <laughs> Let's go. Oh man. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, bro. We almost crashed. Don't drive like this, please. Was he after me? No. Oh, I was about to say this is slow enough for the X5. Who's about to race? But we good. Let me know what you guys think about this sound, man. The M5B sound like V12s, bro. I don't think this is like accurate enough, but it's close enough. Bro. Not, not like I give this about like a, a 40, 40 over 100. <laughs> Park this right here. This is this is nice though. <laughs> Yo, I used to feel like that when um when I used to have to go in for work, man. Like I'm like, bro, you don't be seeing like you you spend like a couple of seconds on your phone and then you realize, yo, why why am I down to twenty already, bro? Not realizing that you you just spend an hour on your phone. Oh shoot. Okay. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. All right, so a BMW garage look like this and we got some work to do. All right, so I'm missing my M5. So I think I did update to the newer M5. We got the M4. Is that the Alpina or the sh uh let me see. Yeah, that is the Alpina. We got we got our little M3. Older M4. We got the M2. All right, so we missing. I remember I had an I8 up in here. Okay, so we missing. We we missing a couple of cars. So we got full. So basically, I guess we'll do that next time. You see, I'm just doing my homework right now. All right, so the BMW garage is missing a couple of cars, which we're gonna have to bring back. But um, is my car gone already? Is the driver usually come pick it up? Oh, they didn't pick it up yet. But we still good. We still good, homie. All right. The other garage, which is right down the block, um, which is the Dodge garage. Let's see if we still good. We still good. Oh shoot, bro! They got bricks over here. What the? I right, gotta leave this right here. All right. If you are into Hellcats, demons, and all that, this is the garage for you. 
This might be your favorite garage right here. Oh, shoot. So we got to. Oh, my goodness. Don't tell me they glitch. I kind of feel like the cars are still here, but there was a glitch happening with this. Yeah, they are still here. All right, we got to find out what's going on with that. What's up with that? Uh, let me try to switch uh, this car. Move with this. Nope, still doesn't do it. All right, so there's a, there's okay. So when this happened, there's always like that one car that's glitching with the other car. Can I just drive them? All right, look like we got to fix this, bro. Yeah, so the only car that's visible are these. So maybe my BMW garage is not messed up after all. Let's go. Now I want to see the GTR garage. Oh man, we got it now. Our job is to figure out what car is glitching this whole thing. Oh shoot, he's after somebody else. When they chasing somebody like that, it's good to just like you know, we can actually speed up. As long as we don't crash into them. I feel like that was a shortcut to this garage. Well, I'm always going that way. This is definitely a shortcut to this garage right here. All right, so we're gonna park right here. All right, come on, GTR garage, please don't glitch too. There's always that one car, man. All right, GTR garage, is it safe? Yes, sir. So just like I say, I gotta figure out which cause causing that crash. I mean, not crash, but cause to be missing. Oh, we that Nismo. I don't know. I'm falling in love all over with the Nismo guys, because you guys already know I had the regular GTR. Now the Nismo is hitting different for me right now, bro. I don't know. Don't don't be surprised if we guys see a Nismo in my garage. I'm not planning on modifying no more GTRs. I'm gonna keep it stock. That's just me for now. Like, yeah, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. I kind of washed my hand with my last GTR because it was left to right, bro. Transmission. That would be $25,000. I'm like, bro. Engine. That would be 40. I'm like, bro, this is crazy. Why am I going through this? Like, for real. Those things usually don't break, but you know, when you racing, is that racing life, bro? When you racing, oh, look at that old 34, bro. When you join that race in life, bro, you better have some deep pocket. Like for real. This all 33 always. Let me see. Did I change the sound for the all 33? I might take that Niz Nismo though. Yes, sir. We might have to remove the tents on that all 33. You know what? I want to remove the tents because that's not cool, bro. I'm going to take it to the shop real quick. We got a shop right down the block. <laughs> Tell me, I mean, if you are into these cars, oh shoot, bro, it's so realistic. Oh, I have that setting. No wonder why I feel like the drive, the driving is like that. Wow, that was on point. That was on point. What's up with these bricks, though? They trying to destroy my cars, man. A miracle that you want me to perform. I want to remove these tents because they make the car look ugly. <laughs> it look nice though, but um, the car look nice. It's just the tents is not cutting it. Windows. We could do light smoke. Off completely, too bright. Ah, but it bring out the car more. Yeah, I don't like a car without tents, bro. But if it's gonna mess up the car like that, yeah, look at that. Now we have an author, bro. I want to change the color too. If we're not gonna have tents, let's change the color. Here for the magic touch. Yeah, real quick. All right. Um. Oh, respray. I just saw it too. Oh no. Okay, there you go. Oh, they got livery. Oh, oh, uh, you guys remember this? Okay, you know what? We'll do that. They actually look nice. 
but I can't change the color myself. Deliveries. Um. Yeah. All right. So what we gotta do is use mania for that. I could change it right here. Um, if they give me the option to. I think we should be able to. Our metallic. Ah, oh, yeah. You see how different? Would you do a purple for this? This is purple. Wow. Yeah. I guess let's do that. Oh, the all white. I'll do this purple. Okay. Now this is looking good. I was bringing it back. You see how different? Like, this is like night and day, man. Going straight to the gas station because I saw this thing is low already. Right on that E85. Bro, I feel like I'm driving a real car. You don't you don't step on a brake, it keep rolling. This is on point. Let's go. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Oh shoot, that thing slide though. Alright. Let's bring her back. The garage. Just like I said, guys, I could play this all day. We need, to, we need to get out of here, though. We need to get out of here. Um, uh, let me see. Yeah, we need to get out of here. I'll take the the R thirty five, the AKA the Nismo. The value for the Nismo have been going up, though. Actually, we need to get the new Nismo in here. Yeah, that's the one thing. I got, I got too many um of those. We might have to bring the R35, the new R35 in here because I do have it already, too. All right, guys, I think this is it for our job. I wanted to do the cash business, but look at those time marks, the cash business. But we are out of time, man. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday or whenever you guys are watching this. Bro, look how realistic this look. Never thought GTA would be like this, like for real. Can you imagine GTA 6? But anyway. We are out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.